Hello and welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Lakshman. Today we are going to learn how you can set up a Google Workspace account and how you can link that with UiPath for doing the automation of Google Workspace application. Okay, so we'll be covering all the topics through a series of videos. Like uh, in this video, we are going to learn how you can set up the Google Workspace for UiPath automation and in the coming videos we are going to learn how you can automate the Google Workspace application using UiPath. Okay, so Google Workspace uh, application includes the Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Sheets, Gmail and Google Docs. Okay, so there can be different situations like uh, um, in your automation you may have come across like uh, maybe you will have to send some uh, Google Calendar invite. Okay, so just consider uh, for a week uh, you will have to send across some thousand or sorry some hundred uh, calendar invites uh, and uh, those things that you have to do it manually okay <clears throat> but instead of that if you can get the list and the attendees uh, uh, who is going to attend and the title of uh, the particular um, uh, event uh, if you receive that you can directly use the UiPath automation to send across the uh, invitation right so uh, in different situation you can use this uh, type of automation even if you want to make some changes to the google drive files uh, or if you want to make some changes to the google docs so in all this uh, thing you have to first do the setup of google workspace and you need to link that with your path uh, activities okay so you can do that with g suite uh, package as well as with the normal uh, google uh, activities okay so i'll be uh, explaining you with a demo uh, for all these uh, activities like google calendar or google drive google uh, docs everything we'll be covering through a series of videos so let's move on so before going to all this automation let us understand what is google workspace so google workspace is a collection of cloud computing productivity and collaboration tools software and products developed and marketed by google it was first launched in 2006 as Google Apps for you for your domain and rebranded as G Suite in 2016 then rebranded again in 2020 as Google Workspace okay uh, so from 2016 to 2020 it was named as a G Suite and recently it has renamed to Google Workspace so these are a set of uh, uh, cloud computing uh, collaborative tools or softwares and products uh, developed and uh, made in by Google okay so uh, using this kind of apis we can automate uh, uh, this google applications using uipath so uh, how we can automate uh, this google application or the google workspace application using uipath for that uipath is offering a package that is g suite or works workspace package so the uipath.gsuite.activities package help you automate google workspace formerly known as G Suite application, including Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Sheets, Gmail, and Google Docs. With the Google G Suite uh, activities package, you can create and modify Google Calendar event, manage Google Drive files, or read and send Gmail messages, create new Google Sheets spreadsheet, and Google Docs document. Okay, so there are a variety of automation that we can do with this package as well as other than this gcu.activities package using the mail.activities package also we can uh, do the automation for the Google applications. Okay, so there also you will have to provide a credential but for that you will have to do some setup in the Google workspace. Set up application in Google Cloud. Before using the Google G Suite Activities Package, you must configure your application using the Google Cloud Platform. So just consider you need to automate the Google Calendar application in the Google Cloud. Okay, so what you have to do? The first step is you need to enable the API for the Google uh, uh, Calendar. Then you need to create a credential for that. Okay, so if you did that, then only you will be able to use the uh, google calendar application which is uh, hosted in the google cloud okay so before using the google uh, g suite activities package you must configure your application using google cloud platform there are two configuration steps what is the first step that is enable api this step enables automation by granting api access to your g suite applications okay so in order to uh, um, integrate uipath with uh, the g suite application you need to first enable the apis in the uh, google 
um, workspace okay so first you need to create a project then to that project you need to enable the apis then you need to create the credential so that is the last step create credential this specify the authentication type used to interact with your enabled apis okay so that's it so just let me go to chrome okay so here uh, we have the docs for uh, the google g suite activities uh, package so i'll be providing this link in the description you can go through that it will give you a clear understanding about these packages and what are the different uh, applications that we can automate using the g suite package and uh, uh, here also you can see the different uh, application or the configuration uh, requirement for doing this automation okay and here also it has provided the uh, steps for enabling uh, the APIs as well as for creating the credentials in the Google workspace. Okay, so for creating what you need to do, you need to go to this particular uh, application or uh, to this particular site console.cloud.google.com. Then you need to sign in with your uh, Gmail ID. Then you need to create a project. Okay, so I'll be providing this link also in the description. You can go through that and you can. Uh, uh do the same thing uh, along with me okay so using this link you can get access to the google cloud platform and once you log in uh, to this what you need to do is just click on this okay click on new project okay add some name so i'm going to give like a uh, g suite uipa okay so that is my uh, project name then if you want to add some location details you can add it click on create okay then it is creating the project gc uh, uipa select that particular project okay so now you can see you have uh, selected that particular project uh, which you have created now okay so once you are inside uh, your uh, gc to ui path uh, project uh, first the first page will be dashboard then here you can see the project name then project number project id and other details and you can see the different uh, resources which is available and here the first step is we need to set up the uh, apis right so you need to click on apis go to uh, api overview okay just click on enable apis and services here you can search for the different apis uh, which you want to enable for the particular project okay or uh, if you scroll down also you can see the different apis which is offering by uh, the google so just search for the required uh, api so i'm just searching for uh, calendar okay so here you can see the google calendar uh, api is available so just uh, enable that if you want or just search for gmail okay gmail activity is available just enable that okay so i'm going to enable the gmail activity as well as uh, uh, google calendar uh, uh, api for this particular project okay so in the coming videos we can add up more uh, apis to this so this is just an intro uh, which will help you to understand like how you can set up the google workspace and uh, uh, how you can utilize the uh, different activities okay so i have enabled uh, the gmail api right so i need to uh, enable the next api to this particular project so just click on uh, enable api i'm going to search for calendar <coughs> click on google uh, calendar api click on enable so here you can see integrate with google calendar using the calendar api okay so here what you're doing to this particular project which you just created you're going to uh, <coughs> enable the access to this particular api okay so that is gmail as well as the google calendar so we want to automate these software which is offering by you google you can use the credentials which you are going to create for the particular project okay so now what you have done you uh, enabled the two apis to a particular project then what you need to do you need to go to credential okay here it will ask you to create the credential okay so there are three methods one is api key method you can create the api keys for that or you can create a service account 
or you can create the uh, auth uh, to the client ids okay so we are going to progress with this method so okay for this authorization you will have to create a client id and the client password so i will tell you how you can do that uh, click on create a uh, connection <laughs> okay and then click on OAuth client id Okay. Here, consent screen. Okay, configure consent screen. Click on con uh, configure consent screen. Okay, here you need to select a uh, external. Click on uh, create. Then uh, provide the app name. Okay, so I'm going to give it like a UI path G suit. Okay, just select uh, a uh, support email ID if needed. And if you want an app logo, you can select the app logo to that. Mm, okay, so now I'm not going to add any app logo uh, for the application. Then if you want to specify any uh, domains and all, you can uh, select those uh, domains. So I'm not going to select any domains also. And here you can add up the email ID which you want. Okay. gmail.com okay so this email id uh, address are for google to notify you you about any changes to the project so if someone is going to make any changes you can you will get an alert okay from the google stating that are some changes happen okay that's why we are providing this email id click on save and continue okay click on uh, save and continue so who is the test user i am going to give uh, my email id as the text user okay so this uh, domains will have the access or, or th this particular users will be having access to this application okay so to which all users that you want to give grant access you can add them add okay save and continue not provided okay so that's it then go to credential then go to initial auth client id okay then here you need to set up what is the application type and here you need to choose we are going to automate the desktop app right so uh, i have provided desktop app as application create okay if you did that you will be getting a uh, client id as well as the uh, google, uh, your uh, client secret id okay using these ids you can do the uh, configuration in uipath to automate the google application okay so this is a step that we need to do uh, so first you need to create the project then uh, you need to uh, set or you need to enable all the apis which is required for the automation okay so once it is done you need to create the cr credentials okay so if you create the credential you will be getting a client id and the client uh, secret uh, id okay and you can copy this id and you can do the configuration in the ui path okay so that's it uh, so we have done with the initial step and in the coming videos i will tell you like how you can do this configuration to automate uh, the uh, different google application using UIPA. okay so if you are watching this video and you want to learn this google automation for the google uh, workspace application please do this setup and wait for the next video in the next video i will show you how you can automate the uh, gmail calendar using uipa okay so that's it that's what that's all for today uh, if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends please give your valuable comments and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video. Bye.